This video will outline if your infiltrator tank requires buoyancy control. Please note that buoyancy control is not required if the subsurface water height is less than 30 inches. Hi, I'm John Kaiser with Infiltrator Water Technologies. There are two parameters to focus on when determining whether your infiltrator tank requires buoyancy control. The first parameter is with the subsurface water height or the groundwater table above the bottom of the tank. And the second parameter is the soil cover depth above the top of the tank. The minimum amount of soil cover above the top of the tank is 6 inches and the maximum is 4 feet. In areas where there is less than 30 inches of uninterrupted saturated soil conditions, buoyancy control is not required when the soil cover depth is within the acceptable range of 6 inches to 4 feet. When the uninterrupted saturated soil conditions are between 30 inches and 36 inches, buoyancy control is only required for the IM1530 tank when the soil cover depth is between 6 and 12 inches. Otherwise, no buoyancy control is required. If the uninterrupted saturated soil conditions are between 36 inches and 43 inches, or the outlet pipe saddle location, Buoyancy control is required for all tank models if the soil cover depth is between 6 inches and 12 inches. With 12 inches or greater of soil cover depth above the top of the tank, no buoyancy control is required. With the subsurface water height above the outlet pipe saddle, so greater than 43 inches, do not install the infiltrator septic tank. Infiltrator's structural design prohibits tank installation when the water table is above the outlet pipe saddle. For more information about when and how to apply the buoyancy control measures, please refer to the Infiltrator IM and CM series tank buoyancy control document that can be found on the Infiltrator website. 